it is not Bitcoin that is going to necessarily cause the current banking system to need replacing. Uh, part of this argument, you know, from our perspective, we are like, Bitcoin is fighting against the banks. For the most part, they don't really know we exist, except for a few people who have noticed, and they're like, guys, over there, <laughs> we're in trouble. <laughs> but for the most part, most of the banking system is a bit more worried about the fact that the world economy is lying on the floor, the heart rate is zero and has been zero. They've now applied 101 electric shocks and it's still not moving. 24 central banks have the interest rates at zero and they're like, "Well, we never went negative. How about minus 5? What happens then? Who knows? Let's try it." But people will take their money and they'll exchange it for cash and put it in their mattress. Oh, I don't know, let's ban cash. That sounds like a good idea. Um, the world currency system is in the deepest crisis it's ever been for the last two centuries, and um, it's not about Bitcoin. It's about choice. So we don't know what's going to play out because we we're following only one part of the equation, and the other part of the equation is completely outside of our control. What we do have a choice to do, however, is not yet this year, not yet next year, but maybe ten years from now, when the central bank goes, "Hey, we've got 550 hyper, 550 percent hyperinflation, but we're all going to stick together, right? Nobody leave. Everybody follow the sinking ship to the bottom." Maybe a third of the population is going to go. Mm, I don't think so. I'm going to be over here in the Bitcoin life raft. <laughs> Well, you do whatever you are doing. In Venezuela, it is starting. They just arrested some Bitcoin people, because Bitcoin is used by criminals. It has nothing to do with their hyperinflation of 550 percent, I am sure. Um, this is going to keep happening. One day, there will be enough people to say, no, I opt out. Uh, and then the world has changed. In fact, the world already changed. Um, it's just a matter of that change propagating to enough people. We are going to see dramatic change over the next 30 years, and only a small part of it will be related to Bitcoin. A big part of it will be related to the fact that the fundamental Bretton Woods central banking free floating currency system died at the turn of the century, and the repercussions of that are going to be enormous. So I don't know what banking will look in a century, but it will be different.